Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out which cloud service is the best to store your pictures and if there are any sound alternatives to Google Photos, how to download your pictures from a cloud storage and upload or import them to another similar service. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Cloud services are becoming the most popular choice for storing personal photo and video archives. As the quality of such materials is improving with the camera resolution figures increasing all the time, uh, while the amount of memory on mobile devices is limited, there seems to be an easier way out – just keep all the data in the cloud that you can access anytime. If you are using Google services, then you know that this company announced a discontinuation of their unlimited free storage for Google Photos since the 1st of June. 2021. After this date, the new photos and videos that you upload will be counted towards the free storage space of 15 GB, which is available as the default option for every Google user. In plain English, Google Photos is not free any longer. The free unlimited storage in Google Photos that allowed users to back up compressed high-quality images and videos used to be one of the most important features of this storage service. With the good old things going to change pretty soon, it's time to look for a sound alternative to Google Photos. And here are some picks that we have selected. However, don't forget that none of them is perfect. We have done some research and it appears that there is no such thing as a totally free cloud service. Each of them only offers from a few to a dozen of free gigabytes for your storage purposes. Mega is a popular cloud service that provides 50 GB of free storage space for every account. Unfortunately, this is only true for the first month. After 30 days, the amount of available space is reduced to 15 GB. Of course, that's quite a lot of space, but it's hardly enough for today's users. Also, you can get some extra storage space by inviting other users and completing simple tasks. But these bonuses are only temporary. Mega is there to give you one of the largest free services, but its commercial offers don't come cheap. The corresponding Mega application is available both on Android and iOS. Another cloud service is Digo. It lets you store your files in the cloud, so you can back up your photos, documents and videos. What you get is a free 100GB cloud storage with web access and special applications for Windows and Android. However, a free Digo account, including most of their functionality, does have some limitations. The free cloud storage is only 100GB. You can only upload no more than 50 files at a time. Those files can't be larger than 4GB. The upload speed can be reduced if you start using the service too actively. Corresponding Digo applications are available for Android smartphones and tablets. All you need to get access to the 100GB cloud storage is to install the application to your gadget and sign up. One more service to consider is Flickr. It is one of the oldest cloud services for photos, and it offers a free cloud storage just like Google Photos. It used to provide an impressive 1 terabyte of free storage space for every account, but now it is limited to 1000 photos. If you need to upload more pictures, you'll have to activate Flickr Pro. The corresponding application is available both on Android and iOS. Another alternative is Dubox. 
With open testing running at the moment, you can get as much as 1TB of cloud storage from DBox. This offer is included into the free package and is time unlimited. The service is available for Android and iOS mobile devices. What is more, you can even use it from a computer with the corresponding web version. But there is no full-featured desktop client for Windows or macOS yet. Still, even with a web interface, you can upload both individual files and entire folders, which is very convenient. With Dubox, not only you can store files for personal purposes, but also create links to share them with others, so that they can download your stuff too. In other words, it's a full-fledged and synchronized cloud service. Yandex Disk offers an unlimited storage space for any pictures you take on Android or iPhone. Creating its own photo storage was a long-time dream for Yandex, but in spite of all the time and effort spent on developing Yandex Fotka service, it had to be closed. Instead, they added the photo service to Yandex Disk, now offering an unlimited storage feature for all pictures taken with the smartphone. To enable this feature, you have to activate the automatic upload option. Yandex Disk seems to be a good alternative to Google Photo as it offers the opportunity to store an unlimited number of pictures in original quality and upload them automatically. The Yandex Disk app is available for Android and iOS devices. Another free service, Cluster, is similar to a private account on Instagram. This is a service for storing photos, but with a social media feature. You can grant access to your pictures for some users, such as friends or family members. Your newsfeed will display photos from all users where you have been tagged or granted access. The only version of the cluster application is designed for mobile devices, and you can only access the service on a PC with the help of a browser. If you don't feel like depending completely on a cloud service, buy and configure a NAS system. Some people believe that a cloud service is a temporary thing. It only works as long as you pay the subscription fee, and the current offer is valid, and such services come and go over time. A better option could be arranging your own hardware-based storage. You can buy a heavy-duty, high-capacity NAS drive connected to the Internet so that you can easily enjoy quick access to any pictures on the web just as with any cloud-based service. For extra security, it's better to buy a NAS system with RAID support so that you never lose your photos even when one of the disks within the storage system fails. Before switching to another cloud service for your pictures, you need to know how to download them from Google Photos and transfer to another cloud. The first, and most evident, method is download all of the pictures and then upload them to the new storage service. To do it, access Google Settings on your phone and find the button Manage your Google account. Jump to the tab Data and Personalization and scroll down until you find Download, Delete or make a plan for your data. Then tap Download your data, which opens Google Takeout feature. You can use it to export data from your Google account to back up the information or use it with a third-party service. Now you need to select uh, the data to export. Check the box for Google Photos, scroll down and tap Next Step. Now you have to choose the delivery method. Send download link via email, add to drive, add to Dropbox, add to OneDrive, add to box. Specify the file type and size. Any files larger than that will be split into several parts. When the file type, frequency, size and destination are selected, tap Create Export and the system will start preparing the files. This process may take several hours or even days. When everything is ready, you will receive an email. Then upload the archive containing your photos to the new storage device. Summing up, we have selected a few alternative services to replace Google Photos, and each of them has its own pros and cons. The main trend we have observed is that free services tend to close down or become commercial over time. Sure, cloud services with unlimited free space for photos do exist, but some of them require a paid premium account to ensure maximum privacy and data security. If you don't like any of the services we suggested, or you know a better alternative to Google Photos, feel free to leave a comment under this video. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button 
and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.